Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In our previous episode, we ripped Flint a new one. Today, we're going to go ahead and take on the final Elite Four member of this game. Elite Four member Lucian, I believe is his name. He is the Psychic type trainer. I'm really excited to do this because after we defeat him, we're going to take on the champion. So let's go ahead and do this. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of the Psychic type. I must say you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I would have to go all out against you just to live up to that reputation. Alright man, here we go! Sully Pons versus Elite Four member Lucian. Ma'am, you're gonna get your butt kicked. That's if she is a ma'am. I don't know, does she, what, what does she look like? If I had never played this game ever, I would probably say she was a female, but... I'll let you guys interpretate that if she is a female or not, so... Go ahead and, and, and let me know. Leave your comments down there below if, if you think uh, Lucian here is a guy or a female. So, we actually started off with um, with Ryujin. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw him and send out Aragon. I think Earthquake will be able to do the trick and kill him. I think this one, he's definitely the hardest one. We'll probably have a little more... We'll probably be... We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have a little more trouble taking him down. Not so much trouble, but... It'll be a lot longer than the other ones. Not a lot, but just a little bit longer. So, I'm going to use Crunch. I said Earthquake, I think, but I, I meant to say Crunch because I just remembered that we taught him Crunch, which is really good. Crunch or Bite work really well for Psychic types. So, if you have any one of those two po or any one of those two moves on any of your Pokemon, just go ahead and use those. I'm going to send out Espeon. Ooh. Uh, I, did, I had no idea you had an Espeon, but this should be easy. Crunch should be able to do the trick. I'm going to bite you and eat you, you little cat. Espeon's a really good Pokemon. I really uh, love Espeon and Umbreon. I actually had both of those two Pokemon back on my Fire Red file. Um, I, I was really obsessed with Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. That's probably the most time I've ever dedicated and devoted to a Pokemon game. Um, I've maybe I've completed the game up to 999 hours on my Fire Red cartridge, and then um, I couldn't save anymore afterwards just because I've played the game for almost a thousand hours which is really insane because if you think about it you only have 24 hours a day so do the math how many 24 how many days are in 99 or 999 hours you know a lot um and it was just through like a summer i played it out just through like one summer and that's what happened so i, I managed to like breed and, and, and create all of those baby Pokemon. I actually had a full team of those. I trained them all at the Elite Four manually, where you put experience share, go to Elite Four, battle them, train them, um, and then they were all like level 100. So I had like a full team of just like baby Pokemon that were like level 100. It was really fun. That, those are. Those are the days where I really enjoyed playing Pokemon for some reason, but now Pokemon is still fun, but I just am not quite into it as I was when I was younger. Um, so if l let me know what kind of game, what Pokemon game you play to the point where you, I don't know, like, let me know which Pokemon game you played the most out of all the Pokemon games that you've played. Uh, so he sends out Glade. This should be easy to take down. I'm going to go ahead and actually use Earthquake on him. Uh, I don't think it'll take him down in one hit, but hopefully it'll take him down in a couple hits. Maybe. I don't really know. We'll see how uh, well Earthquake does on him. Um, so far, I think we're doing great. Like, none of our Pokemon have died, and I honestly thought, like, we were going to come into this late four and they would die, but thankfully that wasn't the case. Uh, thank you so much for that Citrus Berry, because... If he did not have that Citrus Berry, he would have used a full restore, and it would have led to him being able to attack me, and probably maybe would have killed me eventually, but this gives us another chance to use Earthquake on him and defeat him for good, because Earthquake does a significant amount of damage on him to the point where it actually will kill him. Shazam! Goodbye, Glade. I wonder what his final Pokemon is. I believe it's an Alakazam. I, that's his, that's his, fi yeah, it's his main Pokemon, because you know every Pokemon trainer has a main Pokemon. For me, I'd consider it, it would be Aragon, uh, but I do use him all the time, so... Yeah, it'd, it'd have to be a Pokemon that you hardly use. Someone that you just put out there in battle when you are in a tough situation, I guess. For me, that would probably be Wukong, because we never really use him. And Wukong is, um, he's really efficient against a lot of type, of, a lot of Pokemon types, just because he has Fire, Thunder, and Ice Punch. Plus, he has, like, a, 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 I think he has Mag Punch or something, or Brick Break. He has a Fighting type move, so he has the best of all Pokemon, uh, moves. Because he has, like, all of his movesets are good, because they're the types or whatever. So we're going to use the Ice Beam, and voila, it killed it. And that does it for Lucian. I'm sorry, buddy. We just had to do that. 
I see you're getting past the three uh, was no fluke. I don't know why they do that. Why do they skip the text like that? I mean, it's impossible to read. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, this doesn't mean you are done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway, and face your final battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.